Hello, Sagittarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you guys. All right, Sagittarius. You have the Strength card. So we have the Four of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so you're kind of stuck right now. You're feeling maybe sad. I feel like you need to know what someone's thinking or feeling possibly. Let's see. In the past, you had the Nine of Cups and then the Nine of Wands. They have High Priestess, Ace of Coin, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, you may be at like a standstill in a relationship. Like they know you want more, but maybe they don't want to. Like maybe you want to get engaged or move in together and they don't really want to do those things, but they know that's what you want is what I'm seeing here. Okay. And there you are in the devil. <laughs> okay. Under the deck is the Knight of Cups though. But so this could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. We also have Leo. All right, let me switch decks. Let's see what this devil energy is. What are they thinking, feeling, or doing, or... This could also be that you're kind of obsessed, like you only want one specific thing with the Ace of Coin. You want like an engagement. You want to get married to this person. I don't think is feeling the same way you are. So you might have to let that go. Because like one person is happy and one person's not. So I'm seeing here. Okay, what is the devil energy? Nine of Coins being single. You have the Strength card again. Eight of Swords. Okay. You guys are dealing with someone appears that likes their freedom. Maybe they like to be single. They don't want to be in a commitment. Now this could also be you. It could be totally turned around because the energy is actually with you. Eight of Swords can be a commitment folks. Someone who does not like to be in relationships. They want to be able to, you know, move freely, be single. What is the Eight of Swords up here? Looking at something differently. See, I'm kind of thinking that if you take the relationship the way it is, even though it's not exactly what you want, you still would be happy. I feel like if you put too much pressure on this person, Sagittarius, they will leave. Six of Swords, okay? Because um, Eight of Swords is telling me you need to look at something in a different way with a hanged man. You actually got the Wish Fulfilled card. What is that? Nine of Cups. Six of Cups, Eight of Wands. Knight of Coin, Lovers. Okay, so it may not be that you're really happy with what you have. It may be that that's what you have to be happy with. Meaning you may have to settle with this person if you want them in your life. Okay, because we have Nine of Cups is like somebody from the past coming in with an offer of love. This is the Nine of Cups. This is what I'm assuming would make you really happy. It could be the person you're with now. Uh, maybe you guys are, are split up right now, but it's not happening. Why are they feeling so overwhelmed with the Ten of Wands? They have the World Energy, the Queen of Swords, the Magician, High Priestess, Emperor, Three of Wands, we see Eight of Cups. Yeah. Okay, this is the thing. You're stubborn, or actually, I don't want to say you're stubborn. I think he's stubborn. The emperor's being stubborn. You're being pretty much, I don't want to say pushy, but you're being very straightforward. It's queen of swords. You know what you want. You're like, it's a new cycle. It's a new year. We're going into 2020. I want to manifest maybe marriage because emperor could be husband card. What's happening though is they could be walking away. Also seeing if there's a different meaning here. Because some of you are being blocked from this Nine of Cups. You're being blocked with a hanged man. You don't want to see it, but you are not supposed to be with this person. Like maybe, maybe in the future, but right now, it almost appears like this person could be married to someone else. The Queen of Swords could be someone else and not you. And this Emperor is married to this Queen of Swords. They may walk away from this marriage or third party in the future if that's resonating with you they may because i have six of swords eight of cups that's leaving though that's not divorce because it's almost like you are with somebody who is in it like you're with this devil you guys are together but then they are stuck with some other people whether it's kids a wife a husband they may be leaving that relationship though is what i'm also seeing though for some of you so I feel like for some of you, you can't put pressure on this person because they're not going to give you what you want, at least not now. And that's actually going to work out in your favor, okay? You may not see it that way, but it could. You're going to have to just kind of put up with it is what I'm seeing. 
they can't give you that ace of coin because either they don't like commitment at all and they will leave or they are already in another relationship that they are not ready to move away from. I do feel they will finally in the year 2020, but they're show, it shows me they're walking away from this person who's very cold. It's almost like they don't want this person to win. I think both of these people are stubborn. The person you're dealing with and if they are married, the person they're married to is stubborn. What is the Eight of Cups? Yeah, they may secretly sneak out and start something new with you, okay? But that, again, I don't feel like it's going to be right around the corner. I think with what I'm seeing here, it could happen, but more or less like after the holidays, after the new year. But again, this is not divorce, guys, if that resonates. That's sneaking off and starting an affair with you or sneaking off and leaving this person but not getting the divorce. Okay, what is this Ace of Coin? What is this Ace of Coin? Chariot. Five of coins, nine of wands, judgment, page of coin. They can't leave right now, you guys. There could be kids involved. If they leave right now, if they're married with kids, what came next? I saw hermit. They could leave. They could lose custody or time talking. You know, they may not see be able to see their kids. That could be also what's holding them back. Because if they were to leave in their chariot and give you what you want, they're going to be out in the cold and it's not going to be a good thing. And then they're going to blame you. That's what they're telling me. Okay, see how this person's happy and this person's not? And this person is looking over at this person. This person is you. Or this, the whole roles could be switched. But you got what you want. They, they got beat up. And now they're looking at you. And they're mad at you. That's what this reading is saying. You can't have what you want with this person right now because it will not work in your favor. They could lose their kids or the kids hate them after that or something like that or they'll lose money or it's not the right time. They need to stay in the situation, okay? They need to stay. They don't want to leave you, actually. I'm reading this now. They don't want to leave you. They don't want to lose you, but they can't give you everything you want, okay? Give them, a, give them some time. They will in the future, but not right now. They're not telling you everything also, as I'm seeing here. The emperor doesn't talk a lot. But he is dealing with someone who could be very cold. So they're almost feels like they're in a stalemate or a standstill or something also. On a personal note, that's what they're doing. So though some of you are not getting the, the, the offer you want with the Four of Cups and you're heartbroken and you feel like it's not moving forward, it will sooner or later, actually. So just be good by yourself with the Nine of Coins. Hang in there with the Strength card. It's going to get better, and then you're going to move forward with this person. Just not yet, okay? So... I'm going to leave it there. Have a really good week, you guys, and take care.